a quick one this morning. I'm looking at different ways to actually run code in WebAssembly. Um, and one of the options is with Go. And Tiny Go does have this interfacing um, feature. So I just gave it a go and this is what I found. So there's a really good guide on their website, which you can see here. Um, just gives you a simple um, uh, Go file, which adds some numbers together. And it also gives you an example here of um, passing in a JavaScript function, which the Go code can also execute. So that's quite, quite interesting. Um, and I gave it a go. I built the Go. Um, if we step over to IDE, um, the way that I had to get this working with Next.js though was, um, so oh, first off, here's the Go function, uh, the Go code. Um, I did a tiny Go build and built it into WASM, into the public directory as um, a WASM file. And then uh, used, I created a, a hook, use WASM, and this essentially um, fetches that WASM URL and then executes it. You do need to have a couple of things. So the first is the WASM has to be in a public um, folder. So you can't just import WASM um, with Next.js, which is a bit frustrating at the moment. Um, it's okay in this example where I'm actually running the build inside the same project. But if this WASM was part of a um, uh, an NPM package or node modules package, like just getting it into the public folder or something like that is, I'm not actually sure how you do that easily with an import. Anyway, so this also needs a particular um, way of uh, passing the, the WASM file. And so you have to copy over this WASM exec file. Um, this this is from the tiny go package. So this is also something that you need. But once you've got all those things in place, you can um, fetch that WASM URL, run the function. Um, and as you can see here, we do actually get the output from the WASM itself. So just a quick experiment. Um, I think there's more to discover here, but yeah.